Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is A. Melody. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Someone regrets not obeying God when it comes to you. They regret it so bad because at this point it is already laid. Someone missed their blessings because they disobeyed God, because they didn't hear God. God told someone to listen to you. God told someone to, un to reason with you. God told someone to understand you. God told someone to be with you. God told someone to assist you through a difficult, to, to navigate through a difficult season. God told someone to help you, you know, solve a problem. But they hardened their heart. Someone hardened their heart and said, you, they can't afford to assist you in any way. Someone was, someone had all they needed to assist you. God even revealed, even called someone and dropped in their heart what they're supposed to do for you. They resisted God. They resisted God because of their bitterness in their heart towards you. They resisted God because of jealousy. They resisted God and said, why should they help you? Why should they assist you? Why should they be with you? Why should they help you through a situation when they themselves are going through a situation? But they forgot to know that the more they help some people, the more God takes care of their own situations. Beloved, it is not us that take care that takes care of our situations, but it is God who takes care of our situations. He just wants some people who are obedient to do something special in the lives of his people so that he can also do greater things in their lives. But someone missed the point because of their hatred towards you. Because of what they heard about you. Because of, because of the, 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 the wicked report that the enemy gave regarding you. Oh God. And because of this one was insensitive. They said because of this, yes, they had in their heart to help you. They were speaking to themselves, beloved, that they had in their heart to help you. Yeah, they had it in their heart to see you uh, through a situation. They had in their heart to do this and that and that for you. But because of what they've heard, but because of what they've saw, because, because of what they've, they've seen, but, but, but because of the way they feel about you, they are not going to react positively towards you according to God's instructions. And they miss the whole point. They miss out on God. And at this point in time, what they were supposed to, uh, to have given to you is irrelevant. Listen, beloved, sometimes when God says, give someone something, and if that thing is not given at that point, at appropriate time, it becomes useless. And the truth is that if God says, do this, and it's not done at that time, the, 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 the time is wasted. Someone refused to give you that money. That money became useless. Or the money gone missing. Or something happened to the money. Or they put the, they wrongly invested the money. Oh my God. Someone invested the wrong money. What they were not supposed to invest. And they can't see the result of their investment. And they're asking themselves, oh my God, why? I invested in this business that has not yielded. I did this. I did that with this money. It has not done that. It has not, you know, yielded interest or whatever. The money was meant to be invested. It was meant to be given for charity. It was meant to assist you. It was meant to do something special in your life. It wasn't just, perhaps it was meant to solve a situation in your life, but they decided, they decided because of their, their grievances towards you. Because of their bitterness towards you. They hardened their heart. They became comfortable in their own spirit, in their own being, and hardened their heart and said, We're not going to help you. Why should they help you? It's like the man in which you appear, beloved, you, you appear so strong, so abundant, so, you know, all good. And to them, they feel that there's just no reason to assist you. But they do not know that no matter how you are, if they assist you, they tap into your blessings. There's no one that blesses a prophet and does not receive a prophet's reward. There is none 
that shall give and shall not receive even in greater measure. There's listen, beloved. It is more blessed to give than to receive. You don't give to someone because they lack. You give to someone because you are, you like want to sow. It's still like it's, it's it's an obedience to God. Obedience rather than sacrifice, beloved. Someone refused to obey God because they thought that you were so strong. Someone thought that you had it all. You were wealthy. You were good, but they do not know that no matter how you are, God still speaks for things to be done in your life by some people in order for them to be blessed. Why would someone think in their heart that why should they bless you? Why should they give you? And some of them are being regretting what they gave you. Oh my God. If they only, if they only knew the blessings. Obedience is not... When you give to somebody, beloved, listen. People are forgetting forget, people are forget, 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 that, that giving is... Give, like, it's not nothing to lose when you give. When you act by obedience, you give to somebody. Don't look back. Let your heart be open. So that God will bless you. God, it might not bless, God not bless you the same, with, the, with the same thing that you gave out. But God might bless you differently, even perhaps with your health. Or saving a situation in your life another way. We ought to be, we ought to be one another's keeper. We ought to be kind to one another. But someone hardened their heart. There was a call for someone to act by faith towards you. But they missed it out. And everything became so irrelevant. Wasted. Ephesians 4 verse 33 verse 32. Be kind to one another. Tender hearted. Giving one another. As God in Christ forgave you. Forgive one another. Be kind to one another. Hallelujah. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. As God in Christ forgave you. Be kind to one another. Be gentle to one another. Be faithful towards one another. Be loving towards one another. Forgive one another. Accept one another. Hallelujah. Someone refused to act. Someone refused to obey. Someone refused to obey. And they are regretting. They, they are saying to themselves, if they knew, they would have acted by faith. They would have honored God's voice and acted towards you by faith. Things wouldn't have gone really that bad. Things wouldn't have gone really that bad. It's a lesson. It is a lesson. If God says, act towards someone by faith, don't look at the person's status. Don't look at the person's, uh, you know, like people mind a lot about the physical appearance of, of some people, about people's well being, but they are forgetting that spiritual, the spiritual implications of things, the spiritual effect of things. And because of that, someone missed it. May God be with you always and always and always. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. And see you next video.